Um, good evening, ministers, TMS, and Dr. So. This is Zhi Peng from Zhao Bao. Um, first question would be, uh, you mentioned that all public places visited by the GTSH cases will be closed for two days for cleaning. Um, maybe no, it will be closed from which date to which date? And also, um, a couple of questions regarding the Tan Tock Seng Hospital cluster. We understand that the ICA officer's spouse is also a nurse at Tan Tock Seng Hospital. So how can we be so sure that there's no link between her and the uh, TTSH cluster? And also speaking of this cluster, it seems like the 57-year-old male patient was the earliest to display symptoms. So why was he transferred from Ward 7D to 9D when he already had these fever, cough and bunny nose symptoms? Thank you. The, on the days, uh, there are quite a number of uh, places that are affected because these are the places that the infected cases have visited. We have them all in an annex in the statement. Uh, the agencies will be approaching the operators, owners of these venues to have them closed. And I presume most of it will be done over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday. In some instances, maybe not, but it will depend on the venue operators. But we'll want to do it as soon as possible and we'll put out the notifications in due course. I'll take uh, the other two questions that you've uh, raised. The first it relates to a different cluster uh, that... Uh, a role uh, linked to an ICA officer. I think there are still epidemiological investigations and contact tracing uh, that are going on uh, for that particular cluster as well. Uh, and it has been reported that, we've, uh, that, uh, that uh, the, the wife of the officer, in fact, is a staff nurse working in, in the hospital. Uh, we've uh, studied this uh, so far and we can't find any uh, uh, obvious link that links that particular nurse to uh, the current cluster we're looking at in Tan Tok Seng, in terms of where she's gone, where she works, uh, it, it doesn't appear as if uh, it overlaps with uh, the movement of patients or the other staff uh, that uh, we've now detected as part of this uh, cluster in Tan Tok Seng. So uh, it doesn't appear at this stage that uh, they are actually linked, but on an abundance of caution, uh, the ward where she had previously been at is included in the list of wards that, that have been locked down with the purpose of ensuring that we have tighter surveillance, and we screen and test all the staff and patients in that ward, just to ensure that we're not missing anything. Uh, the investigation is still ongoing. I mentioned earlier that we are carrying out phylogenetic studies uh, for all patients who present uh, with a diagnosis of COVID-19 infection, and this will provide additional data that will allow us to determine whether uh, her source of infection, in fact, is linked uh, to the same uh, outbreak that we're seeing in Tan Tok Seng. It may not be so. They may be really uh, very distinct, uh, two different clusters. But we're keeping an open mind. The investigations still continue. And on an abundance of caution, the, that ward where that nurse had been is included in our sweep and, and the measures we're taking in Tan Tok Seng Hospital. You asked also about uh, 7D uh, and 9D. Uh, and one particular patient who had actually moved uh, uh, there. Uh, my understanding, uh, Dr. So can uh, further elaborate if need be, was that this patient was admitted to the hospital initially uh, and then was kept under observation in one of the wards. But when a bed was available in the de definitive care ward, uh, that patient was then subsequently transferred to that particular bed. And that explains why initially the patient uh, spent just a day in 7D, uh, 7D and subsequently spent the rest of uh, the hospital stay within 9D. And again, uh, on an abundance of caution, we've included 7D, even though he had spent uh, 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 less than a day, in fact, uh, in that particular ward. And we're testing all staff and all patients in that ward just to assure ourselves that there, there is no uh, spread of infection to that particular ward. And so far, the testing of both staff and patients in that particular ward has not yielded any positive results. Uh, so, so we continue to be vigilant and we continue to watch uh, to see whether or not there will be more cases that come out through our testing uh, uh, exercise. Uh, 